Hi. Uh, quite often I am asked a question about uh, competency mapping. Uh, isn't it uh, competency mapping a job of the HR people and why should any line manager or why should any employee learn about it? I think the answer is very simple. HR facilitators or professionals are supposed to be uh, experts in the field of competency mapping. But every employee should have the basic minimum knowledge of competency mapping. It is like your income tax returns. Why should everyone know about income tax returns and filing income tax returns? I think every citizen of this country should know his rights and responsibilities as a citizen and you have reached a particular level of income, you should be filing returns. And you should have a basic minimum knowledge about income tax returns. Same way if you are an employee of any corporation, government, NGO or a profit making company anywhere, you should know your uh, responsibilities. You should be familiar with the purpose of the job that you are doing familiar with the activities that you are expected to perform and these activities that you are expected to perform may keep changing from time to time depending on the change of the structure of the organization, uh, depending also on the uh, uh, separations that may take place at your senior level, at your junior level, at your colleague level because every time a new member joins in what we call as your role set role set is uh, a technical term that is used to mean all those people in an organization and outside the organization that have expectations from you as an employee or a member of that particular organization. This includes your boss, 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 your juniors, those who report to you and those who report to them also down the line uh, and your colleagues, internal customers and if you are in touch with direct uh, uh, outside customers and if there are some suppliers of information, activities, resources to you and your job. But normally we limit the role set to one level above and one level below and equal level to a select few who have uh, significant expectations from you and from external customers. So as an employee if you have to perform your job well, uh, wouldn't you uh, want to know what are the kind of expectations whenever there is a change wouldn't you want to influence the new comer into the organization either at your senior level or junior level or colleagues level that these are the kind of understandings you have this is the written unwritten contract that you have with the organization and also share your expectations so in other words uh, competency mapping is a great tool to provide the role clarity for oneself when you have role clarity and when you are uh, clear of the expectations of others and you also go one step ahead of knowing what kind of knowledge, attitudes, skills, values, motives, etc. are required to meet these expectations, you are on a uh, far higher footing to perform your job well. Wouldn't you be interested in performing your job well? Wouldn't you want to be appreciated by everyone for performing or doing a good job? If you don't know their expectations, how would you know that you uh, are doing a good job or not? So if you want to be a good performer and if you want to build your own kind of self-concept and you build your own career, I think it is very important for you to understand the competencies required by your role. And if you have to know the competencies, you have to know the activities, you have to know the purpose of the role. Now tell me, uh, is this only the job of HR? If a company doesn't have any HR, of the HR themselves do not know about this, would you therefore keep quiet and say, I don't know what I am supposed to do because we don't have a good HR in our company? I think this is uh, foolish to say that uh, I don't need to know the competencies required to perform my job well. I don't even need to know what am I expected to perform let the company decide and take the best out of me and that is a very wrong way of uh, 
looking at yourself and your uh, organization. So that's why I would think that every employee should have a basic understanding of the competency mapping. And let me tell you, it is not a rocket science. I think competency mapping is a very simple affair. And if you are a line manager, if you don't want to be an expert in uh, uh, competency mapping, all that you need to do is at best suspend a day. Just have a one day, attend a one day workshop or go through a few lectures, go through a few sessions or even some of the YouTube kind of uh, uh, posts on competency mapping. That should put you at a reasonably good position. Uh, you, should, you have the basic minimum knowledge of competency mapping. Um, all the best, therefore, I hope it uh, motivates you to uh, look at uh, some competency mapping literature and if possible even attend a program. All the best.